Welcome back to the Capital 10X interview series. One of the most compelling mining companies we've come across is longtime copper producer Amerigold. The company coins itself as a copper factory. It produces copper by processing the mining waste from the world's largest underground copper mine located in Chile. We have the president and CEO Aurora Davidson back on the program to update us and help us better understand the investment opportunity. Aurora, since last we spoke, Amerigo continues to deliver for its investors through operational excellence and returning cash to shareholders. What's the key to this consistent and predictable execution? Uh, you know, that, um, th that is a very simple answer. It's having clarity of objectives and a consistent way to measure performance. Uh, we have three areas of operational focus at our operation uh, uh, located in Chile. Uh, we're focused on production, we're focused on operational continuity, and we're, uh, we're focused on financial results. Each of those areas has very clear KPIs, and we track those uh, results uh, in almost real-time basis. So we don't have a team that is distracted. There are no distractions. And that allows us to have predictability of operations and predictability of cash flows. And given that we do not require growth capital and we have very manageable debt levels, we have the ability to give um, to return cash back to our shareholders. Uh, to do that in the best way possible, as you know, we have uh, a multi-pronged strategy of regular dividends, share buybacks, and performance dividends. We have executed consistently since we implemented this return uh, capital policy at the end of 2021, and the market is recognizing that. Aurora, it seems as though the market is starting to reward Amerigo for its execution as it's the best share price performer among mid-tier copper producers year to date. Are more investors reaching out to learn about Amerigo? Uh, yes, we, we're seeing new investors and we're also seeing investors that came in uh, last year, for example, with smaller positions, uh, kind of uh, dipping their toes in the water that have liked what they have seen and have increased their holdings. That's, uh, that's uh, a common story that we're seeing. Uh, I spent a good amount of time uh, these days answering questions, very good questions, uh, very deep questions from our shareholders uh, as they are really starting to understand our business and how it's different from uh, traditional copper producers. In your latest press release, you announced Amerigo's publication of an ESG scorecard and the launch of your new website. In your experience, are investors increasingly searching for companies with high ESG standards? Yeah, investors are looking for good companies, for solid companies that in addition uh, have a strong ESG backbone. ESG is sought and valued, but not in absence of good performance. Uh, what we have seen is also that investors want to see actual, real ESG attributes. They, they're, they're, they're not interested in seeing the manifestos or the desired targets anymore. And in that sense, we have made a point of showing that we have existent uh, ESG strengths, starting with the basic one, which is we produce copper from waste materials. This is quite unique. Uh, if to that we add the fact that we are powered by renewable energy, we practically use no diesel, uh, we have low water withdrawal, we, have, uh, we are located in a central location in Chile next to agricultural land, uh, we have a diverse management team, uh, place, uh, team in place, etc. That, that has uh, proved to be a very compelling additional element of positioning Amerigo with the shareholder community. Thank you, Aurora. That makes perfect sense. And I must mention, I encourage everyone to check out the new Amerigo website. It's first class.